Good morning, folks. We're going to have several looks at the sun to start, and then I decided it might be fun to test the intelligence, or lack thereof, of a new AI program. It went as expected. We had very little activity on the sun the last day, but what there was continued to indicate that our star is gearing back up for its next uptick due in a few weeks. We continue to have small sunspots on the north and the south. We had two C-class flares this morning in the higher end of that class range. There are a couple plasma motions, but nothing major aimed at Earth. And we are still awaiting the coronal whole stream solar wind, which should arrive tonight or tomorrow. Minor geomagnetic effects expected only. So I tested ChatGPT, first asking when the last geomagnetic excursion took place, the last magnetic reversal and pole shift. It began by giving me the answer of 780,000 years ago. So I decided to ask it when the Lachamp and Gothenburg geomagnetic excursions took place, and it more or less got those correct about 40-something thousand years ago and about 11 or 12,000 years ago, which both debunk its first answer. Could have asked about several others as well, but not a great start for the program. I also learned it can't break paywalls when asking about this paper from last week, the one that confirmed there was a Holocene excursion at the time of the NOAA event probably the biggest story of the last couple weeks. Then, I asked about the dangers of the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, and actually did okay, indicating that it presented a radiation risk to the surface, which we made a special video about a couple days ago. It hit the danger to our electrical and technological way of life, especially when the sun gets active, and it also discussed how it will negatively impact migrations and therefore the food chain. We had an interesting introductory article in Birding today about how disruptions to the field can disorient and confuse the creatures, including a recognition of how the sun specifically causes those issues, which again, combined with the weakening geomagnetic field makes for a more robustly understood upcoming problem for the earth and since it didn't get it the first time i then directly asked about magnetic fields and earthquakes in a way that would test if it could find our peer-reviewed studies which it did and even expounded to say that disturbances to earth's magnetic field are indeed an earthquake concern so we'll give it a half point there with the additional prompt Folks, you can learn everything you need to know about the ongoing geomagnetic shift and all the risks presented to our planet with the playlists and books listed below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.